It's like a 90 10 matchup. Chain Ace. So, what is this? He's Chain not Ace listening to me. Copy? Chain Ace isn't listening to me. What did you say? Oh. Is that better? Should I put it closer? I don't know. Okay. The Sonic's gay. But, like, I don't like what the P Project M community does. Like, okay, Sonic, I feel like he was God tier, but they went and made him God and dropped him to, like, lower bottom. And that's stu that's dumb. Like, you, you could just take him from God to, like, high. Like, that would have been fine. Or God to top or something, but... They changed, like, everything. Like, they just... PM just goes to Berserk with the nerfs. It's ridiculous. I, like, I was talking to Toph about this. Like, a lot, like, a lot of people don't like how they nerf in PM too much. Like, I can understand gradual changes from here to there. But don't, like, change two tiers of a character at, in one update. So about this matchup, you know all about this matchup, Major King. What yeah. about, uh, how do you play this matchup? How, you, what does Copy you, have to you do? You try to power shield, and okay. if you get it, you can combo it to an air grab, and then you can get a kill. So is that and like... And if you can't power shield, you're probably going to lose. Really? Yeah. Well, I can't power shield. I sometimes win. That's a problem. I mean, I win a lot, but matchup-wise, if both players are the same level, it comes down to... If I can parachute everything, I have, I have the advantage. But if I can't, then I have a disadvantage. Yeah, that's true. So, I don't actually know... I haven't actually seen Chain Ace play that often, so I'm not sure who who I would consider would be more likely to win in this set, but... I don't know. I had them seeds 4 and 5. I think if... I don't know if Chain Ace was watching Copycat play, but Copycat went to that a lot. Down throw, up smash. He should probably try to tech neutral less. <coughs> I dash attack after like 45 because that's when it's good. Yeah. Otherwise, you don't get as big of a follow up. Ooh, that was pretty. That was pretty slick. Oh my god. <laughs> that's the that's the plank. That's like plank's only trick ever. Just like walked off and paired him. All right. That was actually a really good laser because he caught the roll and then he he made him still stay like, stuck in the shield. <laughs> I think Copy is gonna is going to dash attack too often because that's what happened when he played Deconaut, and I think that's he has to stop dash attacking so often. So Nair to shield more. Chain Ace is getting ridiculous combos off. Oh. I think Chain Ace is just Chain Ace is like a step ahead every time. Man, what was that? That was just that was awkwardly poorly executed. No one get he's doing some, like everything else pretty well. Should have F-tilt. Yeah. That was a good bear. Made him, made him fall off the platform and then bared him. I'm glad no one knows how to edge guard Sheik. Except like a few handful of people. Okay. <laughs> well, oh, that was a really good up tilt. Copycat has to watch out for that because that's like Cockle's bread and butter. When you're approaching him, see? He's doing it again. I think retreating Dare is better with Falco. Well, Copy's is gonna run into up tilts, I mean. No, because up tilts, like, I feel like it's, it's not guaranteed to hit, so it's like a 50 50. Whereas if you're doing retreating Dare, it's like a 90 10. If he chooses to approach at that moment. Hmm. It really just comes down to if you can stop lasers or not. That's like the whole matchup. Yeah. You either stop lasers or you don't. Copycat! Oh, he dropped it. Ah, oh, that was a, that was his chance to win the game right there. I mean, he, he, if he loses, he's gonna kill himself. He's gonna hit himself. Reverse F tilt. You know, after sixty, you can reverse F tilt or down smash to trick DI. Oh, it's wow. a fifty-fifty on the DI trick. It's eighty for Fox, sixty for Falco. Copy is. I don't know. Oh, that was a really bad. Oh, that was a pretty neutral trade actually. Yeah, Copy should take a breather because. Well, what was that? Yeah. Both players choking. Yeah. Uh, Chain Ace. <coughs> ow, ow, my ears. That was the loudest cough. <laughs> ow. Ah, sorry. 
sorry about that, guys. So if you're Chain Ace, what would you ban in this situation? Always get rid of Pokemon Stadium Machine. But always, no matter what. Oh, Chain Ace? Oh no, copy yeah, Chain Ace has a ban. Well, well Sheik's worst stage is Pokemon. Yeah. But what what would you ban if you were Falco? Uh wait, who won? Oh Chain Falco Ace. won. Okay. Dreamland is pretty 50-50. Yeah, I think Dreamland is Fountain Sheik's favor. I think. Fountain Sheik's favor. I think it's Sheik's favor. I'll, I'll believe you. I don't know. That's her best stage for Stalko. Uh, Dreamland's probably second best, but it's like a 50 50 matchup. Dreamland's a pretty good choice. I think Copycat wants Dreamland because he just likes more stage. And he wants to do dash dance. I told you. Falco uppies every time. So he could have just bared him. I noticed that from last game. Without trying to notice it by accident. I think Copycat just tries to like predict too often instead of like react to edge guards. And that's why he like does like a lot of whip fairs. I, pre I predict. I just guess all the time. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't work out. I'm always guessing. It's educated guesses. Oh, oh that was really slow. Reverse, I don't know. oh no, she should have waved that back up smash. He was obviously going to tech rolling. That's the best option, and you have to cover that. Oh, that was a really good wave. No! Oh. Get back on right Yeah, there. Yeah. Full jump air would have covered every option except tech roll away, which he obviously wasn't going to do. You could have waved that. You could have back throw. Come up near. Okay. There you <laughs> go. And the best option for Falco would have been the up B, but yeah, it's riskier to cover that, especially because last time you lose him. Still pretty close though. If if Copycat can stay edge guarding like that, I think he's gonna pretty handily take it. Actually, if she gets an F took, it's a kill. Oh. No. Ah, uh, he messed oh, up. Got to up smash. That's the around to shine. Just pick one. Oh. Yeah, that up tilt's ruining Cap Poppy because he's trying to run in too much and grab or dash tag. He just runs into it. Okay. Oh, he let him back on by accident. Got on too early. No, Falco, oh, Falco should have F tilted. It commits nothing. And Both it's either a win or neutral. Both players are making like a few execution mistakes because that could have been an easy back throw into a really good situation for Sheik. There you go. There you go. There you go. So that was... So he reacted really well in that situation. That's why he got like the Back three easy there. hits. No, not like oh. that. You're not supposed to nair on like you're supposed to react to the illusion or react to the something with a nair. Yeah. You're not supposed to just do a rising rising nair only if they're gonna jump sweet spot. Yeah, I think Copy needs to be a little bit more patient when he has guards. Uh, Chain Ace is just really expecting him to just run into all of his upsets. This guy should zero to death more. Oh. They're doing straight hits too much. It's a melee. That's we're all straight hits. <laughs> Anyways, you hit them and they die. Except you, get, except you can get away if it on like 64. Close. That was really close. Ah, uh, Copycat needs to stop dash tagging. So up early. Tilt. No, Falco, you should. Yeah, I'm actually really surprised it didn't do up tilt. Up tilt. So I mean, up tilt's meant to be. She an can't do almost. anything to that. Just like air dodge away, or just aerial and hope she gets lucky. Grab, no, no! He always shields there. Most people do. Because at the ledge and they're scared. Uh, Chainless is playing too scared right now. Okay, that was really good. No, bear! Oh. The PP bear would have killed him. He missed his do a bear, just do a bear. Oh, oh. Whoa. Yeah, super choking. Just go in. Both, both players making really big mistakes right there. Okay. Fair. It says you have no drop wow, I'm really surprised. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. It's really surprising. Both of them made like really big errors at the end. They just couldn't get the last kill. <laughs> wow. 
Do you think you should have banned it? I, if I was, yeah, I was banned this, she, instantly. She I'm can't really win surprised. Here. It's imp it's unwinnable. Completely it's unwinnable. So hard. And why is it hard? It's because the state. Uh, it's the longest stage in the game, even longer in FD slightly, on the main platform. The sides are low, which doesn't even matter because Sheik is going to gimp you anyway. So she'll die lower on the sides, die lower at the top, and Falco has more room to laser, and all transformations benefit him. All four aspects are worse for Sheik, and this stage than any other stage in the game. Except yeah, Yoshi's story suing, but it's still really good for her because she gets off the stage. Yeah, I'm really, really surprised Copy Kai didn't ban this. This is like... You can Sheik can't win here. It's unwinnable. Yeah. Under cop, I can't, it's like thinking about his choice. What did he ban? FD. So, so wait, wait. Who picked this? Cheney. Oh, okay. Wait, Cheney's picked this, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Full jump up air. No. Come on. They're always gonna do the normal get up at the same time. So do you? That think was a short hop fair right there. So you said that you think this is Sheik's worst stage or By spaces. far, by far. So why is FD not worse? It's flat and has no platform. Okay, the ceiling's slightly higher. The, okay. the sides, uh, it doesn't matter. And the tra there's no transformations, which benefits spaces more. Every single small difference between Pokemon and FD is against Sheik and favoring spaces. So do you think the difference is like really large? It's a, no, it's a, it's a bunch of small things that add up. Okay. It's just, it's just a bunch of tiny things, and those tiny things add up in the end result. Yeah, I agree. It's it's a com it's a a lot of like newer players ask it well which one's worse for Sheik. Sheik, Sheik wants Fountain. Oh, but Sheik is not actually that bad on. I like Dream Man for Sheik though. also, but Fountains are best. Versus in this matchup or like in general. Uh, it depends on the matchup, but I mean those two stages are really good. Yeah. Um, of course, Spaces Spaces and Falcon are worse on Fountain. Yeah, that's also true. Just because they don't they have less room to move around. Pokemon's okay for Marth. It's not great, but it's it's all right. I actually don't like Pokemon from Mars. I don't know. You can up tilt and upgrade the whole thing. Yeah. That's that's why. It's just you throw you throw them, you did dead. That's that's huge. I suppose. Actually, it's actually kind of really good. As a Sheik Marth player, I don't know. I always instantly ban Pokemon Stick. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, I think it's just it's just such a hard stage to play on. Wow. Cheney is going for illusion tactics. This is like, this is not 2003. Okay, yeah. As you can see, you can kind of, you can start seeing here why the, like, the stage having an effect, because it's such a, look at, like, it was, like, on Dreamland, it was, like, really close. She, two, one, she needs to hit you off. And now, look, it's 3-1. Three, 3 stocks to 1. Falco's way better on stage. It's not even close. Yeah. Sheik wins by throwing you off or fairing you off and then edgeguarding you. Falco wins by being broken on the stage. Wow. Whoa. An up <laughs> charged up smash. Okay, that was good. I felt like Tim, I'm friends with you. I felt like Cheney's kind of gave that one away almost, but what do you want, DZ? Yeah, now you can kind of see because because uh, Poppycat is on the last box. <laughs> Link <to> play sorting. <laughs> super safe. <laughs> oh, that should be it. As long as Cheney says guards properly, it's over. Yep. Huh? And Cheney takes it.